Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest. I'm Zerfall, and if you have um, seen my bulletin, you'll know that I lost some videos and I had to go back, so I know kind of exactly what to do for the next little bit, but I mean, I kind of knew what to do anyways from playing the game when I was younger, so it's not going to overly spoil things. It's good to see you, Sonny. Come over to my desk. I wasn't close enough, apparently. I know you worked hard to keep that punk Hoffman in jail. What a shame that it was all for naught. As you recall, last time he broke out of jail. It's frustrating when a man does the best job he can do, and some dummy screws it up. I wouldn't trust that tower guard to watch our water fountain. After reviewing the Hoffman file, I think we should take a close look at the black book that was impounded along with his Cadillac. Get it from Russ in the evidence lockup. All right. You said it, boss. Check it out, and then get back to me. I have some other leads to investigate. When we next meet, I'll have some new ideas. So, the game gives you a clue there that you need to go check out the evidence. Let's crank the speed up to fast, so we can walk along at a reasonable pace. This is the evidence lockup. We haven't had to use it before, but here comes the guy. Russ says, What can I do for you, flyboy? Can I get the black book? Now, Sonny, you know this is official evidence. Don't go running off with it. So we see all the same stuff as before. There's actually not much here to help you out. Um, I think you can call, figure out to call a couple people maybe from this, but you don't even need to talk to them. So let's return black book. After browsing through the suspect's personal addresses, address book, you return it to evidence. The real thing that they're trying to get you to do is to look at the gun. Now it's only blah blah blah. And you can see we have a number there, and I've got to write this down again because I lost my notes from before. But it's SW9764912. So let's read tag. The evidence label bears a box marked fingerprints with the initials of Detective Frank Williams of the Lighten PD Crime Lab. So let's, um, what do we need to do? We need to return the gun. So now that the gun's back where it belongs, we can look up the serial number. Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Um, use computer. So we're looking for SW9764912. Whoops, no number pad, I forgot about that. SW9764912. Ah, it's a 25 cal 45 caliber automatic handgun serial number blah 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 reported stolen in Chicago. Contact Detective Tabber at, and then that's phone number. Let's write that phone number down real quick. Three one two five 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 three three eight two. All right. Um, exit is the string we need. So let's go and get into our office to use the our phone. Now I happen to. Well, we'll call this number first. Uh, one three one two. Five, three, three, two, eight. Oh, that wasn't right. Three, three, eight, two. Whoops. A little bit of dyslex dyslexia there. Uh, one, three, one, two. Five, 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 three, three, eight, two. Chicago PD, Detective Tabba speaking. How may I help you? We need Hoffman. Oh, yes. Uh, we know your man, Jason uh, Tesselli, alias Hoffman, alias Pearson. He is linked to a big-time card chart and drug runner named Jesse Baines. Both have dropped from our sight. 
in sight in our area. I'll send you the mugshot of this guy Baines. Good luck. Click. And as you can see, they don't close the bra the quotation mark, so he actually says click before he hangs up. So we need to use the phone again. And here's a number I know. I'm not going to bother calling 411 to get the number. It's the number for um, the crime lab. You can get it in different places, but I had to use 411 to get it before. Who's speaking, please? This is Sonny. You know what, me? Hello, Sonny! What can I do for you? Um, we need to know about Hoffman. Ah, oh, yes! The prints on the gun match that Hoffman, uh, Ticelli fellow. I heard he's escaped! Bye now, click! Alright, so that's that taken care of. Uh, next thing we gotta do is... I think this should work. Yep. That's right, the game... purposely makes it so you have to go back to the same room. So you're like, oh, I have to go see the boss. You go to try to see him, he's not there. You walk all over the place, what haven't I done right? The only thing you haven't done is go back into the one room you were already in. Now, I don't know how she got in the room. She obviously climbed in the window or something, but... Either way, she's got some info for us. Sonny, just after you left, a hooker by the name of Sweet Cheeks Marie, who called you precious, called from the jail and said she needs to see you as soon as possible. Okay. But before you go to the jail, Morgan wants to see you. Okay, well, let's go talk to our boss then. I'm not close enough. It's good to see you, Sonny. Come over to my desk. Hello, Sonny. Long time no see since last to talk to you. I heard your little sweetheart is in the can. Sonny, I think your friend Sweet Cheeks may be able to help us out. It seems our drug problem is emanating from the Hotel Del Foria. In lieu of our current state of affairs, I'd bet Sweet Cheeks would be willing to help you establish your cover at the hotel. Go over to the jail, see if she'll help you out with the hotel operation. Okay. When you get back, I'll hold a briefing on the operation. Alright, so let's... I'll call the jail and arrange everything for you. He just has to keep talking. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta go and do one of the infamous four-point checks. Check car. Hmm, this side looks okay. You have to go all the way to the back. I'm supposed to check all the sides, but you actually don't make it to the trunk. Let's just make sure all the tires aren't flat, because that's the only thing that can happen. Alright, let's give this a quick save before we crash it up again. Yep, I knew it would happen. It's been a while since I've been driving. I was a little frustrated after I lost the video, so I didn't play for a bit. It doesn't really help uh, get us there faster if I uh, try to type and miss my turns. Open door, get out, close door. Also, um, I want to mention this. Master Azra mentioned that I left my gun in the locker. And you'll see that the locker's open now. I came back and got it um, after that. Put gun in locker. Close locker. Um, without that tip, uh, I probably would have died a couple times later on when... Oh, well, yeah, we, we needed our gun, is the point, and I wouldn't have had it. Uh, let's press the buzzer. So, props out to him for noticing my failures as a cop. Well, bon well it's about time, Bonds. That gal in cell one has been whining for you like a lonely puppy. Do your best to calm that girl down, will you, Sonny? I don't get paid enough to listen to that crap. As you approach the cell one, Sweet Cheek spots you and says, Oh, precious, I'm so happy to see you. Please, 
Come here and talk to me. I need your help, Sonny. I'm sorry, Sonny, but I got picked up by Operation Trick Trap. I know you warned me, but I thought the operation was over. I'll do anything to get out. Oh, Sonny, if only I had someone like you to call my own. Big kisses. Wow, sweet, wow, sweet lips. Was that hot or what? I'm sorry, precious. I just couldn't resist you. Oh, please, get me out of this place. So we need to uh, ask help hotel operation. Oh, please, tell me what to do. Um, help hotel operation. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, Sonny, I'll help you do anything. Thank you so much. Oh, please, tell me what to do. She doesn't have very many lines. She does like to give the kisses, though. Embarrassed, you feel all the blood in your body rush to your face. I'm sure that's not the only place it was rushing. Uh, you explain the arrangements of Sweet Cheek's eminent release to her. Sweet Cheeks, as soon as you're released, I want you to go to the police station for a meeting with Lieutenant Morgan. That's all she needs to know. Hey, Sonny, you've been messing with my female prisoners, or did you just start wearing lipstick today? <laughs> Lieutenant Morgan just called. He's sending a car over for Sweet Cheeks. Perfect. So we don't have to drive her then. So let's once more not forget our gun. Uh, open and actually you can open the door here. That's pretty good because it's faster to type than locker. Uh, get gun. Close door. Open door. Get in. Close door. Close door. Drive. All right, let's head back to base. Crank this. Oh, I'm not gonna crank the speed up now. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna crank the speed up because your radio crackles. 83 Nora 10, respond to Cotton Cove. Officer on scene, need ID of 187 victim. Uh, 187 victim is someone that's dead. Oh, did you see me just slip right past that car? Those are my mad driving skills. All right, here's where I might die. So let's change the speed to normal. Um, there's the cove. Oh, I can slow this down too. There we go. There's the cove down at the bottom there. The last time uh, I was trying to find this place, I was all the way to the top of the map and out of the way. There's another park there too. You don't go to it in this game though. All right, open door, get out, close door, and we're ready to ID this body. Who do you guys think it is? You can make your guesses now. You'll find out soon. Good to see you, Sonny. We've got a ripe one here with no ID. Is this the dude you arrested? Since you're the guy who booked him, we hope you can identify him. So, let's, uh, move blanket. You lift the white blanket and examine the swollen body. It resembles Jason, uh, to Sally. However, you can't be sure. Why can't you be sure? Let's, well, open shirt. The soggy shirt peels slowly from his chest. Above his left nipple you st spot the flower tattoo, which confirms your identification. I'm sorry, that just, it sounded like a really crappy uh, romance novel there. So we know who he is. Talk, man. Oh, so we need to radio it in. Dispatch, this is 83 Nora 10. Report positive ID on body of one Jason Ticelli. 1080, Cotton Cove. 10-4, 83 Nora 10. Dispatch copies. 1020, APB, Jason Ticelli. Thanks, honey. Be advised, coroner is on route. 1019, per Lieutenant, Lieutenant Morgan. So, we can, uh, re look face? Oh. 
Recover body. Gladly. So we don't have to wait around for these other guys. Whoops. See? When you say drive, sometimes it gets you out of the car. So let's uh, save the game and head back to Lieutenant Morgan. Alright, let's get going here. And it's ways away, so let's speed it up. Alright, um, I thought it was to the point of doing that on purpose to end videos, but obviously it's not. I'm Zerfall, we've been crashing in Police Quest, and next time we're going to talk to our boss about um, Operation Hotel Delphoria. See you then!